the poems uh, that are in the, the other work, uh, uh, Leader and Schneebel. Uh, Schneebel, though? Schneebel, yeah. 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 Uh, so, inspired by E.E. E. Cummings' poetry. I was instantly struck by the simplicity of his poetry. Mm -hmm. um, but reading, um, or practically almost like touching these words with my fingers or with my musical fingers, um, gives me as the musician a lot of freedom because these words are so pure. And I find myself as a musician really invited to create sounds inside and around the, the, the poetry, the words of, of comics, because uh, in his, his work is very modest also. And I find in this poetry something that has always interested me in every kind of form of art is that I partly dislike art that throws out a message or an intention in a very suggestive way and tells you this is what it is, mm -hmm. this is how it feels, this is what it looks like, this is what it sounds like. I, I rather love art um, that approaches subtlety in terms of that we, as the very individual listener or viewer, is invited with our own potential and possibilities of creative thinking and perception into a piece of art so that we find something about ourselves in the art and not only about the artist. It should be an invitation for us to explore our sensations and, and our emotions. And I, I find that in, in Cummings' words because they're not um, forcing a story onto the, the, the reader. It allows our own memories to circulate. And um, actually, as I'm doing this with my hands, I notice that it has a lot of also movement in this poetry, a movement, movement which I can bring out in the music. Mm -hmm. That's what seems static in between the lines. I can fill um, with, with sound. And um, I also really try to get away from the idea that the piano is accompanying the singer. It's a, like an equal partner. And the singer, the voice, who's obviously carrying forward the, the words, and the sound repertoire of the piano, uh, really working at the same level um, of suggestive qualities. And they're really, it's like they're constantly stimulating each other or implementing details mm -hmm. into each other's sound repertoire and create like this interactive antiphonic dialogue. I noticed in listening to, to it there's a very kind of uh, the piano creates a real atmosphere you know uh, where the, the soprano is absorbed into and, and reacts with the kind of echoes. I'm always very hesitant and careful when I, I set poetry to music because there's a lot of poetry, like some of the greatest poetry written, which is so hermetic and so perfect mm -hmm. in itself that I would have a big problem just adding music. So why add music to something that is complete, complete in, in itself? And of course, Cummings poetry has that too. It does not need music, but music comes, I mean, the poetry is one character and my music is a character and they walk on that stage together and start talking. And mm -hmm. I think that that uh, discourse makes makes it come alive, that there are two elements which are, of course, longing to come together. And sometimes they do, but they always remain like two individuals. And we just notice what they, what that we have to say to each other.